Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading for March 9th through the 15th. Aquarius, it looks like you have some conflict about juggling, maybe at work, possibly, a work relationship. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Hi, and welcome to Quartz Rose Tarot. Please keep in mind that all my readings are general readings and they will not resonate with everyone. They can resonate in reverse, but if it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. So take it how it resonates with you. Also, I would like to thank everyone for their love and support. We have hit 10,000 subscribers plus. Uh, there are several ways to support our channel. There's a donation link. There's also merchandise available in the description box below. If you're looking to get a personal reading with me, you can reach me at www.courtsrosetarot.com. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's get into this and see where it goes. Aquarius, you're starting off your read with a five of swords, somebody wanting to win at all costs. Okay, so you got a conflict here about juggling. So making a decision or juggling two people. So you got the two of coins. Underneath that, you have the eight of coins. So a conflict of juggling two people at work, possibly at work. A work relationship. This is a work relationship here. Juggling a work relationship. A conflict juggling a work relationship. Got the four of wands. Underneath this, this is about... Abundance, this is about a long-term thing, something committed that there is a deception about. So you have the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, and stealing. Something that's involving um, spying here, you have the Knave of Swords. Somebody's watching this relationship, and it could be a boss, or this relationship could be with a boss, because the King of Coin, to me, Next to the Ten of Pentacles would be a boss. So you got the uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, something's either transforms or ends this deception. You're wanting to take a leap of faith here uh, with the full card and maybe possibly move. But right dead center of your read, there's a secret. So this is Pisces and Cancer. Secret about this boss. Secret about being the other woman. You got the Queen of Wands next to this secret that's between the two of them. So you're having an affair with the boss, possibly. This isn't for everybody, but this is a general reading. But this is what's coming forth for you, uh, Aquarius. There is a secret. Something that's happening under the Veil of Darkness. You have the Moon card. This is this is Pisces. This is Cancer. Uh, it could be with the Cancer because I have the Chariot card right there next to the full card. This is Aquarius. This is you having hope. There's an ending that's or transforming something that has to do with this deception. You're wanting to move forward quickly with the Chariot. This two cards right here of moving, moving, traveling. Two cards of travel right there. The fool's call. The fool's moving. And the chariot is moving. So moving forward quickly. You have the Queen of Wands here. This is my mistress card. This is an Aries Leo, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Now, this person is my mistress card. So keep in mind that this person is very passionate and good looking, um, likes a lot of attention. But they're, they're moving forward heartbroken. You've got a heartbreak here with the Three of Swords. They're looking over at the chariot, wanting that cup of love, wanting to move forward into relationships, what I'm, I'm getting. But somebody walked away here. Um, I'm thinking it was this Queen of Wands that walked away from the situation. She's wanting that cup, but she walked away from it. She's walked away heartbroken. Maybe there was no equal give and take in this situation. 
She was getting crumbs. That's why it ended. Ended that cup being offered. You have the Ten of Swords where somebody felt backstabbed. You have a Queen of Cups here. This is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. That's in the center between them. So this, it, the person between these two people could be the, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I'm saying more would be there be a Cancer or a Pisces. Per, I, I'm, I'm getting cancer, strong Cancer, okay? The truth is coming out about this person, the Queen of Cups. So no equal give and take ending. You're getting the truth about this Queen of Cups, or the Queen of Cups is getting the truth. So you've got the deception about a work relationship. That was a deception. You're spying this boss in something or transforms taking a leap of faith because of this person. Okay. You're hoping to move forward, but you end up walking away heartbroken. Whoever this person is, the queen of wands, she's, she's walking away heartbroken because there was no equal give and take here. And, and it, and it had to end. And so the queen of cups is getting the truth quickly about a sexual relationship, making a decision head over heart for a new beginning with the king of cups, her true match. Okay. This, this person is her true match. A new beginning in love. It's a soulmate connection. Or, or a choice between two that the truth came out about a being toxic. Um, and, and something's blocked out here. Toxic being blocked um, or, or having to defend something. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. I, I'm, I was saying Capricorn, and it's not Capricorn. It's Aquarius. So Aquarius. This person is this person in the middle. This The secret is this Queen of Cups. So there was a deception. Somebody was having an affair at work with the boss. Maybe this is the wife. Maybe this is the wife. The wife is getting the truth about the sexual relationship. And she's making a head over heart decision to have a new beginning. So they're going to start over. He's not going to leave his wife. Okay. This King of Cups wants to, to have that new beginning in love with this person, his wife. And this person, or, or the, uh, the choice between two, the truth about it being cut out, okay? Um, the toxic, toxic is being blocked. It's being blocked. Whatever the Queen of Wands is, is being blocked from the situation. So... That's all I have for you, Aquarius. If this resonates for you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week.